We're here at Mobile World Congress 2014, and we're standing in the Huawei Pavilion in front of the Speaker's Corner, where experts have discussed key technologies and services that Huawei has to offer. And now, a brief excerpt from Johnny Jung's presentation, who's an expert in fixed network solutions marketing at Huawei. Welcome everybody to join this uh, corner speech. Actually, uh, my name is Zhang Kejimin. English name is Johnny, all right? And uh, I'm doing some uh, research uh, in the uh, service bundling business model and some uh, fixed and mobile network and, uh, you know, construction based on this kind of business model. And uh, my topic actually is uh, mainly about the trends we have observed last year and earlier this year. And uh, we believe that uh, here is a very obvious trend we observed this year. One is about the fixed broadband operators now trying to combine it's fixed connection with the contents. And uh, the Google just, uh, I think this company is very innovative, right? Not even in the internet, but also in the natural construction. In US, Google now is very uh, worried about their uh, content experience will be damaged by the low uh, bandwidth provided by the local uh, operators. So Google launches this uh, Google Fiber uh, connection services in, in US. And this Google Fiber, firstly, it gives uh, five megabits free internet to customers. So if you apply, you get it for free. But if you are not satisfied with five megabit, megabit connection, you, you can pay like uh, 70 US dollars a month to get a one gigabit to the home. And we call this uh, as an obvious trend which content providers also goes to the broadband construction. And uh, also, uh, next thing I would like to uh, emphasize or to talk about is about uh, the Andean Beers Law. Because we believe that the Andean Beers Law is not a very uh, popular this year. Maybe it's uh, uh, to describe that uh, in IT year, that uh, the development of the software is all, uh, always relying on the development of the hardware design. And Microsoft and the uh, Intel support each other to get you uh, into a very positive ecosystem of the business, right? So once we have uh, Windows 9, for example, Windows 7, we got a four core CPU in market. But whenever we need an eight core CPU, there will be a Windows 8 or 8.1, right? So in future, we believe that uh, this kind of uh, support each other relationship is very similar to what happened exactly in our uh, telecom industry. We believe that the operator and the internet content provider, they are also supporting each other. Once you have bandwidth, I can develop my content or my service based on this bandwidth, right? And I will demand more to get more bandwidth. And uh, also, uh, besides this, with the very clear market uh, strategy of the FBB and MBB synergy, then the mobile operator may ask why and how can I build the uh, fixed broadband network as a very fast speed and a very low TCO. I think we can just uh, replace the fiber connection of the last mile with microwave we have. And with the help of the E-band and the V-band and the microwave technology development, we will provide a very higher speed based on the microwave system, which saves a lot in the last mile, the fiber construction there. So uh, this two page, I just uh, like to uh, emphasize that uh, don't worry about the FBB network construction. Yeah, with our technologies, I think we can just uh, put a lot of uh, new technologies to make our access box smaller and smaller which can merge into our mobile backhaul or mobile side solutions there. Yeah, <coughs> so uh, I think that's the end of my PBT. And it's all about our FMC 2.0.